Hello everybody and welcome to the class. Are you all ready to learn Japanese today also? Learn more Japanese? Well, we have been doing te form in our previous lessons and today also we will continue doing te forms, how to use te forms in different ways, different forms of te form and also something new about Japan, some kanji characters, a new kotowaza and a lot of other new vocabulary. So well, in the beginning let us do go over our assignments and let us see what you have done. So well, the first assignment that I gave you was very simple. This is a picture with lot of flat objects over here. You can name the objects. I am sure you know this vocabulary already and you are to ask how many sheets, stamps, envelopes, postcards, airmail are there in the picture. These are the questions. I am sure you were able to do it properly. So, I do not have to go over it. Look at the picture and tell namai desu ka. Then take the most appropriate word from the brackets. So, well, let us see what the first one is. Rao san wa toki doki shokudo de tabimasu. So, they over here is for activity being performed at a certain point or place. Then the second one is ototoi watashi wa taro kun ni aimashita. Past is for ototoi which is a past time expression. The third one is tomodachi wa nihon ni imasu. Imasu a long sound as you can see is for to say or to speak. To be imas is a single I. Then we have kesa okasan wa keiki o tsukuri mashita. Past is for kesa over here. Tsukai mashita is to use and tsuki mashita is to reach or arrive at a place. Place ni tsuki mashita. Then we have watashi wa mai asa uchi de shinbun o yomimasu. Nomimasu is to drink and yarimasu is informal for shimasu which is to do. Rao san wa shumatsu ni party o shitai wants to do. Shimasho is let's do and shite imasu is in present continuous form which you have already done. Watashi no imoto wa amerika e itte imasu is in America. Iki masho is let's go and itte kudasai is please go. Kanai wa shokki o kai mashita. So, well you can see these different forms of verbs how they are used. This is match group A with group B. So, you have the words over here in group A and the kanji characters in group B and let us see what the first one is. Sambon. Bon is the counter for long cylindrical objects. Nimai. Mai is the counter for flat objects as you just did in your assignment in the first one. Kaimasu. Ashita. Takai. Takai is also expensive and takai is also high as in height. Hanasu. Kyuhyaku, Ningen, Iriguchi and you can see over here that Iriguchi has a Ri. Sometimes it is written like this and sometimes without the Ri as well. Dai, Kaku. 
So, a big place of learning is Daigaku. Then take the appropriate word from the brackets again and I think this is all about particles. So, let us see what particle to use where. Rao san reporto o okutte kudasai. Rao san reporto o okutte kudasai. Please send. Departo de nani o kaimashita ka? And please, it's nani over here and not nan. Nan is used with numbers most of the time. Strawberry wa nihongo de nan desu ka? De as in in. Tanaka san wa ashita doko e ikimasu ka? Dono, dore for choice and donna which type of. Asoko no kata wa Tokyo daigaku no sensei desu of Tokyo daigaku. Watashi no machi wa kirei de shizuka na machi desu. So, well, joining two na adjectives, kirei de and shizuka na machi desu or if you remove the machi from here, it is shizuka desu, na is not required. Then hako no naka ni nani mo arimasen, hako no naka ni locational noun over here. Nani mo and thus ari masen, meaning nothing. Tokoya to hanaya no aida ni oki na ki ga arimas. Tokoya is a barber. To hanaya no aida ni between between hanaya and Tokoya, oki na ki ga arimas. Ga over here is for emphasis, for stating a fact, and oki na, you will notice that oki is an I adjective, na is sometimes used with oki. This is an exception, so please remember it like this. There are other exceptions as well, we will do them later. Mondai wa omoshirokute kantan desu. Again, we are joining two adjectives, I adjective and na adjective. So, joining I adjective like this, you have to remove the I and put kute for and omoshiroi and easy. If you put na over here with mondai, then it becomes Mondai wa omoshirokute kantan na mondai desu. As mondai is not present over here, we have not put mondai over here, then it is just kantan without the na. Shimbun wa doko de utte imasu ka? Place de utte imasu ka? Doko I hope your particles are clear now. Well, we have some more matching group A with group B. These are sentences. You have to make proper sentences. They are all jumbled up. So, let us see. Koko wa densha no shuten desu. Shuten is a terminal. Koko de norikae te kudasai. Te kudasai. Norikae mas is to change from one mode of transport to another thus it is norikaete kudasai please change over here otosan wa aruite kaisha e ikimas please remember it is always aruite ikimas and not ashi de ikimas for walking gakko wa Uchi kara toi desu. It is far from 
my house. Uchi means house and if you use uchi like this, it is for my house. If it is for someone else's house, it is otaku, polite. Shigoto wa nanji ni owarimasu ka? Achira de skoshi matte kudasai. Over there, over there, chotto matte kudasai. Hagaki san mai onegai shimasu. Kono yoshi ni namae o kaite kudasai. Yoshi is paper or sheet or form. Then, Rao san wa san kai no jimushitsu ni imasu. San kai no jimushitsu means there are other jimushitsu as well, office as well. So, san kai no jimushitsu is being specified. Well, lot of shukudai for you. I hope you did it properly. Most of it was correct. There was no problem and you have practiced with your partner, with your friends at home. Try to speak as much as you can. It is easy. It is comfortable when you are talking. It helps you in conversation. So, well, we were doing te imas form of the verb. Te imas. We did a lot of te imas that is continuous tense. Ima watashi wa tatte imas. Ima minasan ni oshiete imas. Ima minasan wa watashi o kiite imas. Shukudai o shite imas. Swatte imas. So, well, te imas is simple, easy to understand present continuous tense where an action is in progress. Now, listen to this conversation. There is something new in this and let us see how much you understand. Rao san, ashita no gogo jikan arimasu ka? Dou shite desu ka? Ano, telebi o kaitai in desu ga. Ah, watashi wa ii misei shite masu. Ashita issho ni ikimashou ka? Onegai shimasu. 午後6時まで仕事がありますからその後行きましょうじゃあテレビを買ってご飯を食べて映画を見ましょうああよかったそれは何が新しいですか見てください私は一回この会話を読みますから皆さんよく聞いてください。ラオさん、明日の午後、時間ありますかどうしてですかあの、テレビを買いたいですが、ああ、私はいい店を知っています。明日一緒に行きましょうか。お願いします。午後6時まで仕事があるから、その後行きましょう。じゃあ、テレビを買って、ご飯を食べて、映画を見ましょう。ああ、よかった。Well, you can see all the new things in blue. There is a new pattern over here which you can see in the last line, in the second last line. じゃあ、テレビを買って、ご飯を食べて、映画を見ましょう。That is what we are going to do with aru and kara, verb with kara. So, well, rao san, ashita no gogo, afternoon, jikan arimasu ka? Do you have time? Doshite, you have done this word, why? Doshite desu ka? Ano, when you are, when you are starting a conversation, a little hesitant, then you use generally ano, not a n o, but a n o. O, O with a long sound. Terebi o kaitai desu. Kaitai you have already done. Want to buy desu ga. You leave it incomplete. A, watashi wa ii mise o shitte imasu. 
I know. Shitte imas means I know, I know of a certain nice place and the negative is shiri masen, I do not know. Please remember it is either shitte imas, I know or shiri masen, there is no other form. Ashita isho ni ikimasho ka, isho ni you have done, ikimasho, let us go. Onegai shimas is request. You can also say sumimasen. Onegai shimas. Please, I am sorry, but please could you come with me. Gogo rokuji ma de shigoto ga aru kara. I have work. Thus, sono ato ikimasho. And you will notice that in between plain form of verb is being used. We have done this earlier, you can use it like this in conversation and practice with your friends. Ja terimi o katte, gohan o tabete, ega o mimasho. Let us buy the TV, have food and then watch a film, a yukata. So, well this is this you can see from here from the last line that you can say a lot of things by just using te form of the verb and you can convey a lot more in a single sentence. And yokata is of course, that is really good, I am happy, yokata, that is great. We can go and have food and watch a film as well. This is again in as you can see over here, it is again in the script with hiragana and kanji today. There is very little katakana, of course, there is terubi here and that is about all. That is how the language is written and of course, you have the translation over here. Now, one thing I want to tell you is look at the literal translation that we do. Of course, well let us buy TV, then have food and watch a film and then return. So, this is what is actually written, but this is not how you would talk in English or that is good, you would not say that. You would say something entirely different. So, well sometimes literal translations, actual word by word translations sound a little odd, but that is what it is in Japanese. So, first and foremost, let us practice verb in te form. There are a few pictures here. Just let us have a recap of our te form. Well, you have Tanaka san in the morning, wide awake. Mai asa rokuji ni okimasu. Okiru is the verb, group 2, and okite. Then, mai nichi oshiemasu, oshieru and oshiete. Then we have goji ni kairimasu. What is the verb in plain form, dictionary form? Can you tell me? This is group 1, kairu and te form of the verb, kaete. So, well you can see now that in group 2, these two verbs over here, it is just te in te form and in group 1, kairu, it is t t e. We have another picture for you over here, set of pictures. Well, let us see what Tanaka san is doing now. Uchi e kairimasu, kairu as you did just now. Kaete, then kao o arau, araimasu, arau, and aratte. Then we have terbi o mimasu, miru, and 
methane. So, we, we have two group 1 verbs and one group 2 verb. You can make out from the T T E and T E. So, well this is they practice for you. Now, simple te imas form. What we are going to do now is verb in te form plus verb in te form. Two verbs, maximum three verbs put together with mas in the end. You can say a lot of things. Basically, te form as I told you earlier is and in English joining verbs like this and trying to say a lot of things in one sentence. You can read over here. One thing is important with te form and that is the tense is not clear. You do not put the tense with te form. Te form itself is just te form and the tense can be seen from the last mass form in the end. For example, over here, depato e itte, kaimono o shite, kairi mas. We will go to the department store, do shopping, and then return. So, well, this is all about the future. Kino gakko de sensei ni atte, hanashi mashita. This is past. Yesterday, I met the teacher and I had a word with. Her. So, you can you can see they form does not tell you about the tense only what comes in the end the tense is clear from there. So, let us practice again we have the same picture over here practice te and te form. Uchi e kaerimasu, kao o araimasu, terubi o Mimas. So, what are you going to do? Uchi e kaette, kao o aratte, terubi o mimas. So, one after the other, you will see that action is always in a sequence. The sequence is very clear with te form. I will do this first, then this, and then this in the end. You can practice once again. Mai asa roku ji ni okimasu. Hachi ji ni gakko e ikimasu. Goji ni kaerimasu. So, well, Tanaka san wa roku ji ni okite. Hachi ji ni gakko e itte. Goji ni uchi e kaerimasu. Or also, Tanaka san wa mai nichi roku ji ni okite. Asa Hachiji ni gakko e itte, gakusei ni nihongo o oshiete, goji ni uchi e kaerimasu. So, you can keep adding, but not more than two, maximum three. You can add te form and complete a sentence. Now, I want you to do this on your own. There are these four pictures you can see. Tanaka-san gets up in the morning, kocha o nomimasu, is reading a paper and then rushing to office. So, well, let us see what it is. Will you try all of you? What is it? Mai asa rokuji ni okiru is the verb. So, okite, kocha o nomu, kocha o nonde, shimbun o yomu, Shimbun o yonde, kaisha e iku, kaisha e iki mas. So please, jumba ni kore o yatte kudasai. Tomodachi to isho ni uchi de renshu shite kudasai. Think of a situation and do it like this in a sequence with your partner. Well, you can see over here that Tanaka-san is rushing to office, getting up so late and then 
having a nice cup of tea in the morning, reading paper as well. Naturally, he has to rush to office and then what happens? So, let us see. Mai asa rokuji ni okite kocha o nonde, shinbu no yonde kaisha e ikimasu. But he is late if he does all of this. So, well what happens? He is rushing off to office, looking at his watch, looking very tense, bothered and what is he thinking? Well, osoi, osoi, osoi means late. You can see he is looking at his watch. Tokeyo, mite imasu yo ne, soshite chotto kowai, shinpai shite masu. どうしてだろう遅くなっていますからちょっと心配してますよねじゃあ何を考えているんでしょうはいはい、he's he says, Osoku natte sumimasen. Moshiwake arimasen. Osoku natte sumimasen. This expression you have already done once earlier. Osoku natte sumimasen. I am sorry, I am late. Moshiwake Ari. Masen. I am extremely sorry. This is an apology with osokunate sumimasen. Moshiwake ari masen. I am very, very sorry that I am late. And Bucho is, of course, very angry. Over here, the only thing is that you have to bow a little and then say Moshiwake ari masen. Please remember that. This is an expression used very commonly if you are late, most of the time in fact when you are late, moshiwake arimasen, osoku natte sumimasen. And then he is saying, mata osoi o yamada kun. It could be the other way around also, he could say mata osoi o yamada kun first and then he could apologize or before he says this, he starts yamada kun starts apologizing, either way it is all right. Then, now in our last uh, class we had done te imas form, of course. Which shows an action in progress. An action was happening now, it is going to happen now, it is happening now and is also happening now for a short while and then that action stops. So, in continuous tense. Today, we will do te imas again, but it shows a condition. You are living a state. Now, what does that mean? It means that, for example, if you say, I am married. Kekon shite imas. Kekon shite imas. That means that you are married, you are living that state, you are in that state. So, that is another continuous tense which we are going to do today, the te imas form which we will do today. As you can see over here, te imas also indicates and emphasizes a state or a condition rather than an action in progress. So, for example, you have kekkon shite imas. You can also say, for example, okane o motte imasu. Okane o motte imasu. You could say, seita o kite imasu. I am wearing, or someone is. Wearing, okane o motte imasu or kamera o motte imasu, I have, I possess. So, that is another uh, 
way of using te imas form. You will see here when we practice, there is a picture of this gentleman and Mariko san, Tanaka san and Mariko san over here and let us see what they are doing. Tanaka san is taking a picture. So, Tanaka san wa shashin o totte imasu. This is, this is an action in progress. Tanaka san wa Mariko san no shashin o totte imasu. Now, over here we can also say Tanaka san wa kamera o motte imasu. He has a camera in this te imas construction. There is another one you have Tanaka san in Japan. So, well Tanaka san wa or Rao san wa doko ni imasu ka? You can ask a question Rao san wa doko ni imasu ka? Rao san wa Nihon ni sunde imasu. He is living in Japan. So, he is in a state. It is not going to finish now in next 5 minutes or it is not going to finish in another half an hour, one hour, he is living that condition, that state that is Rao san wa nihon ni sunde imas, te imas or de imas form. So, well, now let us practice this small kaiva, how to use these words how to make simple conversation with these words and this te imas form. Rao san, kaisha wa dochira desu ka? Watashi wa ABC ginko, XYZ ginko, name of the ginko ni stomete imas. I am working over there. Mai nichi isogashi desu ka? So desu. Mai nichi isogashi desu. Arun san wa you will see again has been left incomplete with a rising intonation. Arun san wa watashi wa yubin kyoku ni tsutomete imasu. I desu ne. Kitte o kaitai toki raku desu ne. Raku is very very convenient or easy. Kitte o kaitai toki. Toki is time at the time of stamps it is very very easy that is when you want to buy stamps it is very convenient for you you are in the yubin kyoku so well you can change abc ginko for any gakko toshokan library or bioing hospital and yubin kyoku for daigaku shokudo depato any of this that is given over here one thing which is new is dochira. Dochira. There was a word achira earlier in your shukudai, your assignment. It is of the same series. We have done it earlier once. It is similar to koko, soko, asoko and doko over here, over here, sochira and kochira. Kochira means over here, sochira means over there, achira means that over there and dochira means where. It is used for location, it is used for direction. Dozo kochira e kite kudasai please come over here and also dochira the way it is used over here is very very typical over here a san is asking rao san kaisha wa dochira desu ka meaning literal meaning is where is your office it is used in that way also but the basic meaning of this sentence is where do you work? So, this is an exception kaisha wa kaisha wa dochira desu ka? 
this is an exception please. This is how you would ask where a person is working. The meaning you get from here is where is your office, but what you want to know is where are you working. So, please try to use it like this in Japanese and use these words that are given over here do a simple conversation like this. Now, we have been doing katakana all along have completed number of syllables we have done in katakana. Well, let us see what we have here. We have the ha series simple line 1, line 2. You can see the stroke order. It is important because you have seen that in uh, the script we write hiragana, katakana and kanji simultaneously and the script and the writing is not complete without any of these. So, well you have to learn katakana, kanji and hiragana if you want to write and it is given very clearly over here. The stroke order is very clear. You can write it again and again. Use a maths book, use a graph sheet initially it is good, it is easy to use, easy to understand. You get the right method of writing, right proportion. So, well this is katakana, you have all of it here on one sheet ha, he, hu, he and ho and you will see it is so angular, it is not cursive at all, very masculine from kanji characters thus it is like this. So, please try to copy the exact proportions as well. Now, we are also doing kanji all the time. We have done a number of kanji characters. Of course, I will be doing kanji separately also with you, but a few words here for you which we have covered in our lesson or maybe somewhere they are simple. You know the words and we will try to just get the stroke order once and see how many strokes are there to this character. Then. You will see it is made of two characters here, two kanji characters. Well, this is ame. Ame means rain. Ame also means sugar candy. Ame. This is ame this is rain. This character of course, signifies rain ame. Now, ame here 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 and 13. Then, denki means electricity. How it is made from where it has come, we will just see very, very quickly. But before that, you can see it is a 13 stroke character. We have another one over here, key, key. Key is 1, 2, this is small, 3, 4, 5 and 6. Key means soul the spirit is he. Then, then like this and ki. Then ki. Then ki is electricity. So, that is one word you have done already and 6. It is a 6 stroke character. 
you have done this word denki, now you can do the kanji also. Kuruma or sha, two readings to this, kuruma, you know the word kuruma, kuruma means car. Now, how is it made? 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 and then you have a 6 over here. Once again, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. It is a 7 stroke character, I am sorry I just said 6. So, it is a 7 stroke character, sha or a kuruma. Sha means wheels. So, it is a 7 stroke character. Now, how is denki or electricity? How has it come into being? Well, from clouds, rain, thunder affects the paddy fields and thus it is denki, that is how it is made. So, you have the stroke order, you can practice the stroke order and feel comfortable. Now, you have kurma or sha over here. You have the stroke order, how it is made. If you look at a car, well that is how it is. The base is shown, this is your car, this is your car like this with the four wheels here and this is the base that is shown in the slide. You can see over here. This is the base of the car, the wheels of the car and that is how it moves, thus it is sha. Denki is the word, denki means electricity and you have another word which you have done earlier which is densha, densha means a train and sha means or kuruma means a car. Jidosha means a vehicle. Anything moving on, wheels on its own is jidosha, which is a vehicle. Then sha means train, as is given over here. I have also been telling you about proverbs. Now, what are proverbs? You can see it is given kotowaza. What is kotowaza? Kotowaza is, koto is a word, koto means word and waza means using that word very, very smartly in a very intelligent way to say something in short, something that you want to convey in short to people is a kotovaza. What people think about the country, about the nation, about how people of that community think and behave. So, well there is a very nice kotovaza over here, which tells you so much about the Japanese. You can, you can see, it says kabe ni mimi ari. Shoji ni me ari. Now, what does this mean? We have this saying in India also in Hindi, and I am sure in most of the languages there will be a saying like this Kabe ni mimi ari, shoji ni me ari. Kabe is a wall, mimi is ears, as is given over here, me is eyes, and doa. is door, kabe ni mimi ari, shoji ni me ari, shoji is the Japanese doors and kabe is the wall, the kanji characters are also given over here. Now, what does this saying say and what does it tell? Well, it tells that one has to be very careful, one has to be very, very careful about talking and saying what they are saying. 
especially in Japan, especially because this, these sayings are, some of them are also from China, the base is in China somewhere. So well, why? Because the doors in Japan are not concrete doors or concrete walls, are not wooden doors, are not solid stone doors or walls because of the simple reason that they have earthquakes. So, they could not build it like that and they are paper doors, sliding panels, sliding screens which are used as doors and because they are paper, whatever is said in one room could be easily heard outside, could be misconstrued, could be presented in a different manner completely. So, thus one has to be very, very careful, one has to be very sure of what they are saying, one has to be private as anything said could be used in whichever way, whichever manner the other person would want to use it. So, this saying is very important, kabe ni mimi ari, shoji ni me ari. Now, you will see what shoji is right here after the proverb, these are, these are screens, removable panels, sliding panels which are used as doors in Japan. They are very light, very easy to handle. One very important thing about these doors is that inside the house, even if the doors are closed, the light can be seen, it can come in. So, well, it is not very dark inside, it is nice and bright inside because of the sheets that are used. The paper earlier that was used was handmade paper on these panels and uh, as it was very expensive, these, this paper that was used was made from mulberry bush, from the mulberry tree or the kozo tree, it was very expensive and difficult for people to, to afford. But now, because of synthetic material coming in, these doors are very easy to make, not very expensive and are affordable as well. So, what you can do with these doors is, you can these sliding panels is, you can remove all the panels of the house and make a big room out of your house and you can again put the doors on the sliding rails and make rooms from it. You can see you can decorate it very nicely with paintings, you can have the paintings on the doors, decorate them, use white paper on it can have them as screens, as your lamp shades, you can decorate them whichever way you want. They look very aesthetic, they are very easy to handle, can be replaced, not heavy, can be shifted from one place to another, look beautiful, are, are environment friendly and are becoming very, very popular outside Japan as well for these very reasons and everything is written about the screens over here. You can read about this, you can read on the net as well. All the pictures have the websites given, you can check on that, you can read more about Shoji and Fusuma and learn more about Japan. These are tatami panels which are used as flooring material in Japan. These are made out of straw on wooden structures and are easy to handle, quick to make and can be replaced whenever one wants and also it is very convenient because the flooring of the room can be done very, very quickly and are eco friendly as you can see. So, well with our saying there, one has to be very, very careful in Japan for these reasons that one could be heard behind the doors.
Now, this is vocabulary for you. You could go over the vocabulary, learn all of this, try to use it in your conversation. I will read it out once. Stomeru, Hataraku, Toshokan, Sumu, Motsu, Osoi, Moshiwake nai, Arau, Kaimono, Shoji, Fusuma. So well, the meanings are given over here. You can see the meanings. And now, my work ends over here. You have done a lot of new things. You have done lot of new forms today, new vocabulary, learnt something about Japan as well, about Fusuma. You could write about Fusuma and Shoji and we could discuss it in our next class again. Whatever you have learnt, you could get some pictures and we could share the pictures. So, well your assignments are right here for you. Match all of these, the words are given here. You can match them with the pictures. Look at the pictures here and tell what they are doing. Then combine the sentences with they form. Change the sentences from English to Japanese. Choose correct kanji from here. Then write proper expressions. And there is lot of work for you now. You can go home, practice with your partner, look up your lessons and try to read. And we will do something new next time, maybe something again on te form, continue our te form. We will try to continue te form and learn something new. Till then, mata aimashou. Thank you. Arigatou gozaimasu.